Hey YouTube Hambo and my frontline foul Fred with uh, two more of the knives I got here on uh, Wired Wednesday I had ordered these came fairly quickly uh, two folders I've been looking forward to trying out number one is the K-Bar Warthog 2 folder I just love the shape of that blade and secondly the RAT Model 1 by Ontario and uh, like I said both of these are designed for paws my size they're fairly fairly good size of course I've really started to take a liking to the K-Bar knives this came a little dull we're going to have to strop this up too I notice a lot of manufacturers are shipping them dull for safety reasons and that's fine I'll bring it back up to edge in no time it's got the nice G10 scales on it it's got uh, a very good design on the blade. I love the uh, pronounced spine on this. Uh, full drop point, which I like. Uh, and it's got, uh, unfortunately, only one way to run the clip, and that's uh, tip down. So if uh, you're not really into that, uh, you're hosed, because there's no other way to mount that up. This will be coming off anyway, as I do with most of my folders. But... Uh, it's got uh, some fairly good jimping right there in the thumb groove which makes the blade very controllable and uh, it's a good b balanced weight it's uh, not super light but it's not uh, so heavy that uh, you would get fatigued while uh, while using it uh, it's got a good downward force on it so I think that's going to be a good one to try in the field and we'll keep everybody posted on that and then I've seen this on a lot of different reviews and you know how I like full drop point blades. I've heard a lot about the AUS-8 metal that uh, Ontario uses on these. The Model 1 really matches up well. I like the feel of this. Again, nice full body G10 scales. This does have the option so you can take that belt clip, which is a fairly substantial belt clip by the way, very tight, and you can mount it either uh, nose up nose down on either side so left or right handed it gives you all the options with that full frame on both of these I might add uh, another good thing about the K-Bar that I didn't mention is the fact that it's been totally blacked out so if you like carrying a tactical knife that doesn't reflect any light at all this Warthog is an excellent choice because the frame the liner lock the hinge and everything on the inside of the G10 scales is all blacked out so that's another good thing the Randall is left to be in its satin finish um, state you can tell the frame in there is uh, just its normal coating but uh, again I like the size of the handle it's a good size uh, good pronounced jimping on the back end really good finger indent give you very good positive control on this knife and like I said I've seen a lot of really good reviews on this so it's another one I'm looking forward to trying out here we go the K-Bar Warthog 2 folder right there and the Ontario Randall Rat Model 1 more in a minute 